Hey what is up guys Johnny here and welcome back to my COD cut series, the series where I take a look at content that was cut from Call of Duty games in early development or was just scrapped last minute and then was just left to be hidden in the game files. So anyway guys let's get on with the video. Alright guys so more stuff that I found hidden in Infinite Warfare, I decided to go like more deep into the files and stuff and see what else I could find I found some really interesting stuff. Um, a lot of it is glitched because it's not really made for the game I guess it's just because of the view models or something but yeah I found some more stuff and we're gonna get right into it okay the first thing I found was a kill streak that's from Call of Duty Ghost well partially the kill streak it's basically the ammo crate from Call of Duty Ghost if you don't know in Call of Duty Ghost there was a kill streak which was a support streak which will allow you to throw like an ammo box on the floor and players and teammates will come and kind of like take weapons out of it like new weapons I think it was or something like that but the actual animation for the box is still in the game it, you can't really do anything other than just throw it on the floor and that's about it. I was having a bit of fun with it, I kind of went over the top, so I just like make really weird patterns on the floor and stuff. Okay guys, the next thing I found is this weird vacuum grenade. I don't know what it does. I mean, I think it's similar to the blackout grenade or maybe this was originally the blackout grenade because it's called vacuum for one reason and when you actually get it to spawn on the floor, it gets an icon over it that looks like a tornado. Like, I'm assuming maybe it, will, it was similar to that. I don't know, but it's just really weird. You can't actually throw the grenade. I actually just spawned the model into the ground just to show you what it would look like because in your hands it's really glitchy. You can't, there's no animation or anything like that. It's just a messed up view model. Okay guys, the next thing I found was a kill streak from Call of Duty Ghost. Well, partially again a kill streak from Call of Duty Ghost. This is the Odin strike from Call of Duty Ghost. If you don't know, the Odin strike was a really shitty version of like the Osprey, I think, or something like that. Uh, the actual um, weapon for it is actually in the game store. It's all glitched up. You can't do anything. I was trying to get the bots to come closer to me for the whole game, but it was just running away and it was so hard I'd use the mini map to actually get to the butt because my whole screen was covered up but as soon as you press um, the, the fire button basically on your controller it makes an explosion on the floor and if you look in the bottom left you'll see a Odin symbol so basically it's the Odin kill streak from Cold Eagles just left over. <laughs> Okay, next is another cut slash partial kill streak from Call of Duty Ghost in Infinite Warfare. It is basically the Griffin from Call of Duty Ghost, or partially the Griffin from Call of Duty Ghost. It's the rocket version of it. If you don't know what the Griffin was, it was a thing that hovered over your head, or well, you it hovered over your head, I guess, and then you kind of controlled it and then you kind of shot rockets out. It was kind of like the Dragonfly from Black Ops 2, but with rockets. The rocket part is still in the game. Now, the thing about the rocket thing is when you kill somebody with it, you get 25 points towards your um, score streak. So I'm assuming that this was actually going to make a return in Infinite Warfare, but last minute they just decided to cut it or maybe they decided to keep the other like shitty thing that was in the air or whatsoever but which is like really really crap the vulture that's the one i'm talking about but yeah it's in the game it's it works well it partially works like i say but yeah it's pretty cool
Okay, the next thing I found is a thing called a wrist rocket and basically what it does is you fire out a grenade or something and if there's a wall in front it will get stuck to the wall. It will keep going until eventually it hits the wall and it will just get stuck to the wall. Like there's times where I fired it outside the building and it just kept going and going and going into the sky more and more like it doesn't even explode or anything like that. You cannot kill anybody with it. Just a bit confused as to what this doing, what's this doing in the game. Alright guys, the last thing I found, and this was actually a bit of a request from someone, they wanted to see the default weapon, and now I found the default weapon after a very very long time, I had to test over 350 values, and then I found the default weapon, and to be honest, it's like it's been nerfed, I remember the default weapon in all the other games, if you don't know what the default weapon was in all the other games, it was basically a finger, if you ever seen hackers or models, they run around with this thing, which is like a finger, and you shoot someone with it and instantly kills them, that's what it is, but in this game, it's not a finger, it's a square floating above your hand, I guess, and uh, it's just really weak, like, um, like it, it takes more shots sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, um, the hit fire on it is really messed up, like, I remember the old ones, you could just hit fire and you'd instantly kill them. Now, one thing about the default weapon is every time you kill someone, it gives you the nuke slash atomizer logo in the bottom left. I thought that was the headshot first, but now look carefully, it's an atom atomizer logo, I'm pretty sure it is, if, it's, if I'm wrong, correct me. But yeah, it's just weak as fuck. When you drop it on the floor, uh, you swap it with another weapon and you go look at it, it's just a little square on the floor and it shows the scarab icon for some reason. But that's about it for the video guys. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.